Welcome back, you guys, to the Luis Experience, the show with the latest, the greatest in everything, the pop culture. Your host is always Luis. This time around, I'm counting down the top five comic book movies of all time. And no, there's no bat nipples in this. Find out whether those top five next up on the Luis Experience. So number five, we have Marvel's Avengers. Now, this movie was perfect right when it came out. Now, I didn't get to see it in theaters for... I don't even know why I didn't get to see this amazing movie in theaters. The movie was spectacular. Like, the way all the characters mixed... That was a big thing about this movie, I thought. I was like, okay, they're going to focus a lot more on Iron Man and Captain America. But no, they actually gave every single character their own time. And it all balanced off well. And... It was just a perfect movie, especially visually. It was stunning. It was perfect. It was just straight out of the comics. So, Avengers was amazing. And I'm really excited to see what they do with Avengers Age of Ultron. That movie is going to definitely blow Avengers out of the water just by the trailer itself. It looks to be ten times better than Avengers was. And I'm really excited to go see that in theaters. I will be there front row. Well, not front row, but, you know, nice row, middle row. Right when it comes out. So, I'm really looking forward to that. But what do you guys think about Avengers? Let me know. Comment below. Next up on my list was a movie that was, like, number one, basically, for a while in my list. But it now got a little pushed over to number four. It's still one of my favorite movies of all time and one of my favorite comic book movies. Though a lot of people don't really consider this man's movies to be true to the comics due to how realistic they are. But I still consider them part of the comics, especially this one, because it gave us one of the best interpretations of a comic book character of all time. I'm talking about none other than The Dark Knight. So, The Dark Knight, I mean, anybody knows who The Dark Knight. Everybody's seen The Dark Knight. That movie is like the godfather of every single comic book movie that came out and it is basically now like DC's whole little thing they're going for which I'm not really happy about that as you can read in a movie pilot article I wrote about uh, Christopher Nolan's impact on the DC universe now and him leaving and what I feel about that you can catch that right I'll leave a link for that but what the Dark Knight did to its own trilogy it worked the Batman is not like really a superhero he's more like a vigilante and that's what this movie really brought out and that's what I really enjoyed, this dark, gritty, realistic tone it had. But also, we have one of the best performances in history, and that is the Joker. I mean, the way Heath Ledger really gave us... The way Heath Ledger really gave life to the Joker was done like no other. And it was really, really odd, and it was really perfect, setting the tone for the rest of the movie once we got the Joker introduced in the first scene. So, The Dark Knight really is one of my all-time favorite movies and especially on my top five comic book movies of all time at number four what do you guys think about the dark knight you still catch yourself watching it and what did you what do you think about dc going with the more darker tone to all their movies let me know comment below next up on my list is x-men days of future past now for this list i try to not include other x-men movies because there are a lot of other x-men movies i really enjoyed so it was a pretty hard choice nailing it down but after a lot of thinking, X-Men Days of Future Past really is the most superb one, in my opinion. I really love the whole cast from First Class, so that had a lot to do with this. And also, Hugh Jackman, I mean, right after seeing him from Wolverine and knowing he was going to be in Days of Future Past, I was pretty excited for that because Wolverine is one of my favorite movies of all time. It was just spectacular and gave a new, fresh take to Wolverine than what we had originally gotten in the uh, atrocity that was Origins. So to see him with the First Class cast was pretty exciting because I really enjoyed First Class and there's a really hard choice between these two movies but Days of Future Past really stole the show more for me especially Peter Dinklage he did an amazing job as the villain in this movie also performances by Michael Fassbender always that, that man always blows me away with his, all of his performances I just really enjoyed this movie all around I got to see it three times and I'm definitely going to be buying this Black Friday. But what did you guys see about X-Men Days of Future Past? And what is your favorite X-Men movie? Let me know. Comment below. Alright, you guys. So these next two movies, it was really hard choosing between which one was my all-time favorite and my second. And after a lot of debate with myself, I came to the conclusion. So at number two, I have Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy, honestly, from seeing the first trailer, I was pretty excited. I wasn't really, like, blown away, and I wasn't like, okay, I immediately have to go see this movie right when it comes out. I'm going to go see it. I was like, okay, I'll catch it maybe on Blu-ray. Maybe I'll wait a little while and see what happens. But no, 
I got a special screening for the first, like, well, not really the first, but 20 minutes of the movie, and after that, I was like, Guardians of the Galaxy all the way, as you can see, Guardians of the Galaxy all the way. The movie was amazing. It was what Avengers was, but times 10, and it was in space, which made it even more better. The movie really set off a new tone for Marvel, but the whole plot between Guardians of the Galaxy tying into the Avengers on Earth, it really worked well as well. So the movie was spectacular. I really, really enjoyed Star-Lord's performance as well as Drax, Gamora, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, basically everybody. But definitely Groot stole the show for everybody as he's become basically iconic. But I'm really excited to see where they go with Guardians of the Galaxy now that the sequel has been announced and how it will tie in with Avengers. What do you guys think about Guardians of the Galaxy and what was your favorite member of Guardians of the Galaxy? Comment below. And at number one, you guys, it is the movie that has completely, completely changed my attitude towards Captain America and that is Captain America the Winter Soldier now. I caught Captain America the First Avenger and I thought it was a really good movie, though I didn't really catch my attention that much to Captain America. By that time, it was Iron Man who was my favorite. Now, though, Captain America the Winter Soldier comes out and it is Captain America. I mean, the movie just shows Steve Rogers as a total B.A. He truly is. And also, Bucky. Bucky as the Winter Soldier truly, truly stole the show. Even though he wasn't in the movie as much as I would have loved to see him, I truly enjoyed every scene he was in. Especially the whole relationship with him and Steve Rogers. It set up a really, really good dramatic ending and... The whole fight scene at the end in the air, especially with Steve Rogers' line, which I love, love watching over and over. The whole, I'm with you to the end of the line, just completely gets to me. I thought the movie had amazing action scenes as well. The fighting, everything about it was just perfect. Especially that elevator scene, it just, just boom, out of this world. And also the acting, I thought it was really great as well. Also the character development for Steve Rogers, especially coming out of Avengers and heading into... Now, Avengers Age of Ultron, it was perfect, and I liked the whole Doctor Strange reference we got as well, and everything about it was just magnificent, really. And I love how the whole story around, um, uh, I love how the whole story really brought the whole Marvel and everything full circle with the whole Hydra being she inside of S.H.I.E.L.D. all this time, and then the destruction of S.H.I.E.L.D. Everything just came full circle with that, and I know that's and that really was a perfect way to head into Avengers Age of Ultron, I believe. Especially at the end credit scenes where we got to see Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Really, really anticipating Age of Ultron even more now. But what do you guys think about Captain America the Winter Soldier? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be it, you guys. At last, we made it to the end of the video of my top 5 comic book movies of all time. But don't worry, you can catch even more videos. Just hit that subscribe button right here, you guys. And I promise you a lot more content to come. And as always, my friends, you can follow me on Twitter, MoviePilot, Facebook. Links for that all below. And as always, stay positive.